everybody, we're at downtown Bradley Beach. As you can see, it's pretty vibrant over here. Got the showroom cinema behind me, new construction happening on 3rd Avenue. The train station's only four blocks from this location, and it also heads to the city. But today, we're focusing on Vic's Italian Restaurant. They've been a staple in this community for over seven decades, and they truly showcase their perseverance and heart by keeping that tradition going. We're gonna sit down with the owner and see what it's all about. It gives me great pleasure to sit down with one of the co-owners, Travis Simbluski of Fix Italian Restaurant. Thanks for allowing us to feature your restaurant today. Oh, we're delighted to have you guys here. So, Travis, this restaurant has an incredible multi-generational history behind it. Can you share with us a little bit about that history and how the family has continued the tradition? Well, uh, I guess it all goes back to 1933. Uh, Vic originally opened up Vic's Tap Room, and uh, that was kind of the beginning of it. Uh, 1933 in history is real important because that's when Prohibition ended. So Vic ran out and got one of the first liquor licenses around, which we have hanging up in our waiting room. Wow. And then um, uh, things kind of stayed the same for a little while, just, just running a bar. When his son got a little older in 1947, he said, hey dad, let's, let's open a restaurant with the bar. So that was how this restaurant kind of grew. It grew from just a bar and then we needed a kitchen, we needed more seating space, it got busier, we need more seating space. So it you know, kind of got passed from Vic to his son John and then on to my father-in-law's generation, which would be, that would be third generation. And we're getting to the point where we now have the fifth generation working here, doing different roles, mostly serving or, or you know, helping customers, but uh, it's so nice to see that we've made it five generations. It's very rare that you can get a business that makes it that far. So how did you guys adjust to the pandemic shutdowns and limitations? Uh, well, it was difficult. I remember the very first day we sat down, my brother-in-law and I, and just said, what are we gonna do? You know, here we are, governor just shut us down. Uh, we didn't know at first we were gonna allow to do uh, takeout only. So as soon as we found that out, we immediately just switched gears, started planning, uh, rearranged the restaurant. Uh, the place was a mess. I mean, we had stuff stacked everywhere around here. But um, we went to a takeout only model. We had a great takeout business before. We decided to, to really just stoke that fire, let's get it going. But if it wasn't for our ability to adapt and on a daily basis, uh, we would not have made it. And I also have to just thank our employees because uh, it wasn't just my brother-in-law and I said, here's the system, this is what we're doing. Every employee kind of had a piece of this because somebody would say, hey, we could do this differently or we could do that differently. And the, the collaborative effort was, was just amazing, you know, and the system that we used was truly collaborative. So Travis, this is one of my favorite parts about uh, visiting uh, various restaurants and we get to uh, showcase some of your popular dishes. So can you tell me a little bit about some of these dishes? Okay, well, the first is the chopped dani pas. That's our, uh, our salad. It's probably the staple item that everyone always orders. And a lot of times it's paired with pizza, but it's usually paired with pretty much any dish. Uh, as far as pastas go, we have our uh, penne with vodka sauce. Uh, a lot of places do penne vodka. We have our own take on it, but I think people really like our version because we sell just tons of it. I mean, we're, we, we're making it every day. And then these uh, uh, chicken marsala is uh, another popular, it's probably my favorite. Uh, one of those things where you gotta saute it and uh, they cook off the wine uh, and the mushrooms and everything. It's just with pasta, over pasta like that is probably my favorite way to have it. And then there's pizza. I mean, you know, our website address is vixpizza.com. Uh, pizza is a huge part of our business and really where we started from. And, you know, that's our traditional thin crust pizza that we do. The large plain pizza is probably the, the most common. I mean, guys, you heard it from Travis, one of the co-owners from Vix Italian Pizza. Over 70 years of family traditions and recipes. 
and, and these amazing dishes. Uh, they're located on uh, Main Street and Bradley Beach. You heard his website, vixpizza.com. Come and check it out, guys. Thanks again, Travis. Thank you.